An Indolingo, the past governor of Hawaii, once said that we have come dangerously close to accepting the homeless situation as a problem that we just can't solve. Chris Chamberlain and Guy Johnson. In 2011, our researchers that studied sociology described that the pathways to homelessness are housing crisis, family breakdown, substance abuse, and mental health. Why am I talking about all these reasons? This is because homelessness is a real big problem. And since my family grew up being homeless, I felt what it's like. I thought it'd be very important to discuss how homelessness is one of the biggest problems that we face in America as of today. Homelessness is a major problem in Nevada due to the increase of housing with many other problems that a lot of people face here in Nevada. First, I will discuss how many people are impacted by homelessness in Nevada. Second, I will explain the reasons why people become homeless. And last, I will show you what kinds of programs that are helping homelessness, homeless people as of today. Now, we will discuss how homelessness is one of the top problems in Nevada. Homelessness in Nevada is one of the top problems as we Americans face as of today. As of right now, the numbers are slowly increasing, getting very, very high. In the year 2018, a survey conducted that there were 7,544 homeless persons counted that were homeless from a group of researchers called the Continuums of Care in 2018. What this shows is that the numbers in this state alone is very high, and that could mean going up even more. And as of what's gonna be in the future, it's gonna keep on going up. In Nevada, it's just getting higher. And in the future, there won't be a point where we can stop homelessness. There always is gonna be a problem, especially in all the other states. Since I shared the demographics over the years, I will now talk about and explain the biggest reasons of why people become homeless. There are many reasons why people become homeless, but a quote from Chamberlain and Guy was that for others, it was a loss of a job or the collapse of a small business that brought on the financial crisis. This is the main reason why people become homeless. It's just a housing situation. Everybody, housing is very expensive and people with a low income job is not gonna be able to afford the housing. Which speaking of that, that's one of the biggest reasons why people become homeless. Many people don't have any family or friends to help them get back onto their feet. This is what many people in Nevada face and from a guy speaking from going, like from living in Hawaii, I can say about the same thing. They're just trying to get back onto their feet and they can't. Now that I've talked about the biggest reason why people become homeless, I will now talk about the many programs that Nevada has to offer. There are many programs that help people who are homeless. And one point was from Jared Bray. He did it in 2016 and is a journalist said that Las Vegas officials were inspired to create a corridor of hope along Four Master Lane to help aid those in need of home assistance. That's in downtown Las Vegas. And the corridor of hope is a community that helps people get off their feet. It provides financial assistance and gives them a place to stay. It also gives them food, clothes, and other necessities that will help them get back up on their feet. Not many organizations do this and I feel like this is a big step towards um, helping the homelessness problem. And with all these problems coming into place that I believe that we will slowly tackle the homeless situation. Now let's review what I discussed. In conclusion, homelessness in Nevada is something that we need to take very ser seriously. Um, what I'm trying to inform you is that what we're dealing with today is, is a major problem and that I feel like everybody should have like a like we should have we everybody should know about this problem. Um, I discussed how many people are homeless in Nevada and then the second thing I um, talked about was one of the biggest problems that why people become homeless. And last, 
what kind of programs that we're doing to help this homeless situation not go up but go down. No one in this world wants to be homeless. I saw what many I saw many homeless people and to me it's just very sad. The more we know about this problem, the better we can help those in need and I feel like that we as a community should step up and tackle this head on instead of laying back and letting other people do this when you can help this homelessness problem. Thank you.